So now we want to know, do these equations represent a linear function? Now remember, linear functions must be able to be written in the form y equals mx plus b. And again, it's very important to recognize that the x is just the variable x every time. There's not an exponent. There's not a radical sign. The variable is in the numerator. Uh, so if we take a look here, this first one, y equals 3.8. Well, one, there's not an x variable, but I could do y equals 0 times x plus 3.8. So I can still identify that my m is 0 and my b is 3.8. So then, yes, that's linear. The next one, y equals the square root of x, is not linear. It's the square root of x. Here, the variable x is the exponent. Again, not linear. Here, the variable x is in the denominator. If I try to move it to the numerator, it becomes x times y equals 2, which, again, cannot be written in the form y equals mx plus b. So that's not a linear function. The next one, if I distribute the 6 through, I get y equals 6x minus 6. And again, I could write it as y equals 6 times x plus a negative 6, if I really got technical here. And so y equals m times x plus b works. So the m is 6 and the b is a negative 6. So that is a linear function. And the last one here, again, the x is to the second power, so that's not a linear function. Now, if we look at this one, is this a linear function? Yes. I can rewrite it as y equals 1 times x plus 9. So I can identify my m to be 1 and my b to be 9. This one is y equals 3 times x all over 5. Well, I could rewrite it as y equals 3 fifths times x plus 0. And again, I can identify my m to be 3 fifths and my b to be 0. Now here, because again, the x is raised to the second power, that's nonlinear. That's a nonlinear graph. So, there are several ways to show a representation of a function. We can just use words. An output is three more than the input. So for example, if I say that the input value is two, well then three more than that, the output would be five. Here we have it as an equation. If I plug in two, two plus three is five. Here we have it as an input-output table. Here we have it represented as a mapping. And then lastly, as a graph.